Some days, it seems like things are just stacked against you. You know what I mean? This was one of those days. It had been one thing after another at work, and I was exhausted. And just as my service dog, Maggie, and I were getting ready to head home, my next-door neighbor texted to say there's a fire in our building. Oh, no, no, no. Everyone had to evacuate. I tried not to freak out, but everything I owned was in that apartment. Maggie sensed I was upset and came close to calm me down. She's a great comfort to me when I'm stressed, and it makes a huge difference. I began to look at what was on hand in my office to help me. All I found was a toothbrush, dog treats for Maggie, and a gluten-free energy bar, which I need because I have celiac disease. My purse had my ID and some medical information cards, but almost all of my critical documents and medical records were back at the house. The phone rang, and it was Crystal, who lives next to me. She's part of my network of friends and relatives who understand my disability, and she helps out in all kinds of situations. It was really good to hear her voice. Crystal is a real character. In the old days, she'd be called a worry wart. But that woman knows how to handle a crisis. I could hear sirens in the background, but Crystal was so calm. She really helped me settle down. I haven't heard anything about our house. Crystal wasn't sure what was happening to our building, but she'd been told to go to a reception center that was being set up by the city. She gave me the address, and we agreed to meet there. She also suggested that I text my family to let them know what was going on. With my skimpy bag of supplies, Maggie and I headed out to learn if a reception center could help us with some of the stuff that we didn't have. I must have beaten Crystal there. Arthur. I saw Arthur, who lives in my building. He seemed to know what was going on. I asked if he had any suggestions on facing a crisis with a service dog. He said the folks here would have good information for me. It was a pretty impressive scene. There were these volunteers from our neighborhood at every table. Some were checking people in, others were answering questions. One of them asked me if I needed help in a language other than English. The volunteers told me where to find accessible housing, what my transportation options were, and how to care for Maggie while we were at the reception center. I even saw people getting help in sign language. But I was beginning to worry about Crystal. It wasn't like her to be late. Maggie and I hadn't eaten dinner, and I needed Crystal to pick up some dog food. I tried to give her a call, but my phone battery had died. I ate my energy bar and tried not to worry about where I get my next meal. After a volunteer found me some dog food, it began to sink in how this emergency caught me completely unprepared. I realized that they had really thought of critical things to help people in my situation. Crystal finally showed up. She had been busy supporting a lot of our neighbors who needed extra help and guidance. When one of them needed to charge his wheelchair, I was happy to make room at the charging station. With the help of the volunteers, Crystal, Maggie, and I reserved a hotel room not too far away. They also gave me the name of a restaurant that served gluten-free food. I was so hungry. We spent a long, anxious night away from home. But the following day, we were ecstatic to learn that our apartments were unaffected by the fire. Nearly losing my home really opened my eyes. My situation with decreased mobility and a service dog makes it even more important to be prepared for a crisis. 
Now I keep an emergency go bag, packed both at home and work, and I make sure they're stocked with critical items, like medications, documents, and phone chargers. And Crystal learned how she could help our neighborhood even further. She took the training to be a community emergency response team volunteer, like the ones at the center. We had a scary experience, but because of the lessons I learned, today I'm feeling stronger and better able to handle whatever's around the next corner.